Being in attendance at 15 weddings the previous summer gave Nick and Emily a clear vision of what they wanted for their own celebration. We wanted a wedding that was just going to be a good time, not only for us, but our, you know, our family and our friends. Um, you know, nothing too extravagant, um, but... Tasteful. Tasteful. Yeah. That's a good, good point. Yeah. Emily and Nick's vision was elegant, but fun and relaxed. They wanted their guests to be comfortable. They were already coming to a country club. They were dressed up. So they wanted them to have a great experience, but to let loose and dance the night away and have a great time. Although excited about the prospect of showing friends and family a good time, Nick and Emily's top priority was the traditional Catholic ceremony that would be held at St. Mary's Cathedral. We had always discussed that the importance of the ceremony, the party and the reception was obviously going to be fun and that was important as well, but really making the sacrament to each other um, in a church setting what is the crux of the marriage and that's what it's all about. So having a traditional long ceremony and a mass was, um, it was always something that we wanted to do. It was, it was classic and it was, we could look back on it and really, really be proud of the ceremony and saying our vows yeah. in church. When it came to finding a florist, Emily used her previous wedding attendance as a guide for determining who would work best with her fall color palette. Nick's dad is actually very good friends with the head or the floral department at the Thriftway in Wilsonville. I've known uh, Nick's family for a number of years. Matter of fact, did the sister's wedding last year. Her floral arrangements were stunning and as we were kind of navigating through the process and trying to figure out what to do, um, we decided that that was the best route to start uh, since he had just this wonderful creative mind. Emily wanted, a, a, of course, a beautiful wedding, but she came in with only her colors in mind. She says, these are the colors. I asked her the style of the dress she was wearing, and we kind of went from there, and she gave me carte blanche to do, do what I wanted and work my magic. I think a lot of brides get very specific about the types of flowers and the colors and the, um, you know, being overly specific about what those centerpieces look like and the bouquets look like. And florists are creators and they have a fantastic eye, so the more flexibility you give them, the better your result will be. Um, and if you just need to focus in on some general themes, then that's usually enough guidance to, to make quite an impact.